to DeJounte Murray or what he had to overcome to get to the NBA? To sum it up in a couple of minutes here in a conversation wouldn't do it justice, but he grew up in South End, Seattle. Uh, his, his mother was in and out of prison. His father was not always around. And he grew up basically uh, in and around gangs and was on the streets doing uh, you know, illegal activity. He was in uh, juvenile detention centers growing up before he got to high school. And his life sort of turned around when um, he moved in permanently with his, uh, with his uncle, Terry, um, as a sophomore in high school and just sort of uh, disregarded um, you know, the streets, which is how he puts it to me multiple times when, when I spoke to him about it um, and uh, you know, doing illegal things and uh, really started to focus on school, really started to focus on basketball once he, he got to uh, sophomore year uh, of high school and really hasn't uh, looked back ever since. He doesn't party, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. You know, it's all about the, the gym and the court for him. And, and you know, his personal uh, story is probably a reason why. 100 percent. Yeah, I, I think that it's a story that will instill humility in a person. It's a story that will make him supremely confident in his ability to be as resilient as he was. And along the way, there were so many different people in his life that uh, that helped him get to where he is. One being uh, Jamal Crawford, one of the three time six men of the year. Uh, NBA icon for those who 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 adore the NBA and adore him. So Jamal came from the same neighborhood uh, that Dejounte did, and would text him and call him from sixth grade on, uh, and really helped uh, instill the confidence in in Dejounte that M- the NBA was an actual possibility for him. Man, what's up, Spurs fans? It's Dejounte Murray. I'm in awe, man. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. Uh, all the love and support that you guys give me daily, and my teammates, you know, the whole organization, you know, the way you guys bleed silver and black, uh, it means everything to me. Uh, you know, I'm motivated, you know, like I said, I'm thankful, I'm grateful. This is only the beginning, uh, you know, and I just hope it motivates, you know, my teammates or just anybody around that, you know, was ever told they can't do this, they can't do that. Uh, I'm going to remain humble, stay focused, and I'm going to keep learning and working. Thank you. Go Spurs, go.